Hey, it is Andy with the Fence Post Indie Music and Vinyl Blog, and today I am taking a look at the third and final 7-inch single from Seattle band 764 Hero. It is for the song Garrison and the B-side on a set. It came out on June 20 of 2000 on the band's longtime label, Up Records. Unlike many of the other releases that 764 Hero had, this one differs in that they spelled out the name rather than depicting it as a number, aka a telephone number, as what the band's namesake stemmed from. But like the other two 7-inch singles, both Garrison and On a Set are exclusive to this 7-inch. Before I jump into my thoughts, let's take a quick look inside as I unbox this 7-inch. First, you have the cover. It's a very simple fold-over cover with the band name up there and information credits on the back. By this point in time, James Bertram had joined on bass, and he also lends expertise on guitar and keyboards. It was also produced by Phil Eck, who is kind of a famed Seattle and Pacific Northwest producer. The 7-inch itself is on your standard black vinyl with your standard up logo and label black silver printing blue bar. You see that on pretty much all of Up's releases, especially the 7 inches. This single did not come with any inserts or additional items, just the sleeve and the single. So what about my thoughts? At first, at first I thought this would be my least favorite 7 inch single by 764 Hero despite it being released the same year as my favorite album by them, Weekends of Sound, which I've covered previously here. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description. Giving it a few extra listens, I kind of feel like I might need to recant that statement, or at least put the caveat in that it's not the best, but not by far. A lot of the reasoning for that is Garrison starts out a bit more minimal and it just doesn't catch your attention right away. Then you hit just past the midpoint, things pick up and it redeems itself. Flip it over with On A Set and I love this track. It has a lot more dissonance in the guitar than really a lot of other songs by 764 Hero and the raw drums vocals, it just works really well, and together that elevates the song and, of course, the single itself. So, 764 Hero. With this, we have basically concluded the four releases that I currently have in my collection. Down in the description, you'll find a link off to the playlist where you can watch all of these videos that I've covered 764 Hero, and you'll find a link off to my music blog. Eventually, I will drop in a link to the coverage that I will have of all three singles. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.